And while there is still no official date for Koberger's murder trial, what are the implications of this demolition once the trial begins? Let's get to our legal panel tonight. Misty Maris, trial attorney and legal analyst, and former homicide prosecutor Matt Murphy. Welcome both of you. And Matt, we'll start with you tonight. A trial date, as we said, not yet set. It could take place next summer. And still, the families of two of the victims made this last minute plea yesterday, asking the university to wait until the trial was completed. Did their voices ultimately not matter here? Yeah, I, I think that's well put. To the university, it didn't matter. And look, I, I, I've done a lot of death penalty cases. The university, in effect, in my opinion, is interfering with this process. You know, when they talk about healing, what does that mean for the students to heal? Um, the people they should be worried about most are the victims' families, who also are victims in this. Those are the people that need to heal. Um, there's the, pre, the university has previously said they want to build a park there. It's not like they need the money or the income. And they've created an appellate issue. The defense can, can they didn't object, but it's going to be an entire new defense team in the appellate process. Brian, Pro, Brian Koberger is going to be convicted of this. He's going to be sentenced to death. And the very first thing that the appellate team is going to do is they're going to accuse the defense team of what is known as IAC, or Ineffective Assistance of Counsel, for not objecting to the destruction of this house. And if it creates one bit of additional angst for any of these families, the university should have put the brakes on this. They don't know what they're doing on this. They don't do capital case litigation. I cannot criticize them strongly enough. Interesting. I mean, Misty, over to you. I think one of the big questions, besides any further evidence, was a jury visit, potentially, if that could make a difference uh, to stand in that house for the jury. Now, prosecutors said that the condition of the house is so different from 2022 that Idaho law wouldn't allow a jury visit. Misty, do you agree with that? Can a jury visit make a huge impact here, like we saw in the Alec Murdoch case? Yeah, Natasha, I'm surprised that the prosecution would concede that at this point in the case. Whether or not the jury is going to go to the site, that can be a critical component and something that can help the jury understand what the arguments are and how the prosecution's theory of the case is laid out. Specifically in this case, it's even more relevant. We're talking about a three-story home where murders occurred on the third story, two on the third story, two on the second story, and then an exit on the first floor. The layout of the home, where the stairs are located, what can be seen and heard inside, how it's all set up. That is a critical piece of information that will have to be filled in at trial. And the best way to do so is to have the jurors actually see where this took place. Now, prosecutors might have had a, an argument, a, but the defense may have raised an argument to say, okay, there's prejudice because the home has been altered. There's been extensive chemical application. But to concede that now, before we know where the trial is going and making that decision as the case unfolds was truly shocking to me. And I do think a potential mistake, once it's gone, it's gone. You can never go back. And Matt, do you believe that this demolition benefits Koberger at trial or, or does it hurt him? Well, for the trial itself, and number one, as usual, I agree with Misty. Okay, I agree with everything she just said. But number one, it, it shouldn't make a difference, okay, um, because it's been processed. But he also has appellate rights here. And it's important to remember they're seeking the death penalty. It's the most severe penalty. The university owes him the the due process of that being available. Okay, so um, I, this is where it's really going to benefit Mr. Koberger is in the appellate process after the trial is done. That's uh, that is something that is for anybody that is actually participating in capital case litigation. I guarantee the entire country is scratching their heads at this one. This is a vanity project by the university with no real like reason to do it when there's a hundred reasons not to, and they went ahead and did it anyway. The fact that they did it over the objections of these families that are absolutely in, in the worst grief you can imagine is just astonishing to me. I, I absolutely hear you. And, and Misty, I, I want to ask you about something that Nancy Liu was just reporting on, that the FBI did do 3D imaging of the house's interior and exterior in October um, to produce data, compelling data, accurate data that can be used at trial. Why is that not sufficient? 
So first of all, all of those models, we expect them to be used, the videos, the photographs, the 3D renderings. First of all, the FBI is producing them, so the defense would have the opportunity to perhaps say they're not accurate. There could be objections there. There could be arguments related to the admissibility when it comes to the trial. But Natasha, it's as simple as one phrase, a song everybody knows. Ain't nothing like the real thing. It is much different to actually be at the premises than to see that unfold in the photographs. And look, from a strategy point of view, the prosecutors, the defense might decide that a jury visit isn't necessary. But my position, and, and Matt made all of these great points, you don't know until the trial's unfolding what you might need to bring before that jury. So to give that up before the trial date is even set just seems to be something that not only could it be an appellate issue, but who knows how it will shake out at the end of the day when it comes to the trial. Interesting. All right, Misty and Matt, thank you so much for that perspective.